In this video, I will demonstrate how to install the HPE ALM Octane CI plugin on a Jenkins server and configure it to connect to ALM Octane. For other CI servers such as Atlassian Bamboo or JetBrains TeamCity, the process is similar with some minor changes. I will cover the following points. First, configuring the Jenkins proxy. Then, installing and configuring the ALM Octane CI plugin. Thirdly, creating a Jenkins job, then creating a pipeline in ALM Octane and connecting it to the Jenkins job, and finally, running the pipeline and reviewing the results. There are a various number of network setups. I will discuss two of the most common examples, but most use cases will not be that different. This network diagram demonstrates when the CI server is located in your private network and is connected to ALM Octane, which is hosted in the cloud. A reverse proxy forwards requests to the ALM Octane servers. The reverse proxy server address is the URL that you use to connect to ALM Octane. You cannot connect directly to the ALM Octane servers that are hosted in the cloud. You may find that your CI server connects to the internet via a forward pro web proxy, which requires additional configuration. The Jenkins plugin communicates with ALM Octane and therefore we need to make sure that the Jenkins server can communicate with ALM Octane and set the HTTP proxy as necessary. Click on Manage Jenkins and then the Advanced tab. Click on the Advanced button to validate the communication. My Jenkins server is behind an HTTP proxy and therefore trying to validate the ALM Octane URL will result in a connection error. Set the proxy server and port. Click again on Validate Proxy and you will get the success message. Click Submit to save the configuration. This network diagram demonstrates a typical on-premise ALM Octane installation. Both the ALM Octane and CI servers reside in the same private network. You can see that the ALM Octane servers are behind a reverse proxy and therefore the CI server accesses ALM Octane servers directly and not via the proxy. However, when the CI server needs to connect to a GitHub repository in the cloud, it will use a forward HTTP proxy. In the Advanced tab, click on the Advanced button. First, we validate communication to a GitHub repository in the cloud. When the proxy is configured, each request will use it to access external sites such as GitHub. I validate again and can now connect successfully. However, since ALM Octane is in the same network, trying to validate the ALM Octane URL will result in a connection error. ALM Octane must be accessed directly without going through the proxy, and therefore the ALM Octane hostname should be specified in the No Proxy Host text box. This is a proxy exception to bypass the proxy for the ALM Octane URL. Now I validate again. Note that you can use star as a wildcard. Now we can move to the second step, which is installing the HPE Application Automation Tools plugin. This plugin is used to integrate Jenkins with a variety of HPE products, including ALM Octane. In the case that your Jenkins has access to the web, you can navigate to the available plugins page, search for the HPE Application Automation Tools plugin, select and install it. After installation, click on the Installed tab in Jenkins. At the top, you will see a warning message that Jenkins needs to be restarted and you should do this now. Another way to download the plugin is from the ALM Octane Settings DevOps tab. On the right panel, you will see a download link for the plugin in each supported CI server's marketplace. You can also use your favorite search engine to get the direct links. Click on the latest release link to download the plugin. After the file is downloaded, navigate to the Manage Plugins page in Jenkins and then the Advanced tab. Choose the downloaded plugin file and click Upload. For successful ALM Octane integration, review the list of dependencies and make sure that all required dependencies are installed. After the plugin is installed, you should see it in the list of installed plugins. 
make sure to keep this plugin up to date. If you need to change the proxy settings for whatever reason, make sure that you restart Jenkins so that the plugin will also be updated. Once the plugin has been successfully installed, we need to configure it. Click Manage Jenkins, Configure System, and scroll down to the ALM Octane CI configuration. This section allows us to configure the plugin and provide the connection details. Enter the location of the ALM Octane server. You can copy the ALM Octane server URL from your browser. The URL must include the shared space ID. In order for Jenkins to authenticate itself with ALM Octane server, a client ID and secret must be provided. To generate the client ID and secret, make sure that you have the DevOps admin role permissions in ALM Octane. Navigate to Settings and select Spaces. Click on the Shared Space and select the API Access tab on API Access below. Enter a name to identify this API Access. In the role, select CI-CD Integration. Select all the workspaces that should be integrated with Jenkins in the In Workspaces field. Please note that after creating a new workspace, you will need to modify this API access and add the newly created workspace, otherwise Jenkins won't be able to access the new workspace. Click Copy to copy the generated client ID and secret to the clipboard and paste it to a notepad. Return to the Jenkins configuration. Fill in the client ID and secret that you just copied. Click on Test Connection. The configuration is verified and the successful connection message is displayed. Now you can save the configuration. The last step is to configure the Jenkins user. Enter a Jenkins user that has permission to run jobs. If such a user does not exist, leave this blank and the anonymous user will be used. Please note that for security reasons, using the anonymous user is not recommended. Click on the blue question mark for more details. Now we navigate back to ALM Octane's settings area. Click on the DevOps tab and add a new CI server. In this CI server drop-down list, you will see a list of CI servers that are connected to ALM Octane and have permissions for this workspace. I select the Jenkins server and specify an identification name. As workspace admin, you can review all the CI servers connected to ALM Octane. In this step, we will create a freestyle Jenkins job with a minimum required configuration. Create a new freestyle job. I will call it demo job. In the source code management section, select git. In the repository URL field, set the repository URL. Click on add build step and select invoke top level Maven targets. Set the goal as clean test. Add a post build action to publish the JUnit test result report and set the path to your report XML. Let's return back to the application and navigate to the pipeline module. Click on the plus sign to add a new pipeline. Select the CI server name that we defined earlier from the drop down list. Now select a job. Set the pipeline name, click save and run the pipeline. You can also see the job is running in Jenkins. Wait until the job has finished execution and review the results in LM Octane. Thank you for watching this video. For additional information, visit the ALM Octane Help Center. Thank you.